Hey guys! Today we're gonna do a Cobb salad. It's a Keto Connect kitchen staple, so we figured we might as well just show you how we make ours. And we're gonna go pretty simple today. We're, we usually add chicken, but we don't have any cooked, so we're gonna start with these ingredients. Right now we have lettuce, we have egg, we have bacon, avocado, and some cheese. You can even do some vegetarian chicken, which I tend to do. You can throw in onions, you can make it however you want. But this is a basic Cobb salad, and so we're gonna go through how we usually make ours. that is food photography worthy. So the great thing about a Cobb salad is, not only is it delicious, um, but it's jacked up with micronutrients. And on, when you're on a keto diet, it's, sometimes it's tough to get those micronutrients. So with a Cobb salad, not only are you getting that, but you're also getting your macronutrients at the perfect level in terms of protein, in terms of fat, and in terms of pretty low carb. So after you've got all of your ingredients in your bowl, and remember, you can do extra tomatoes, you can do more protein if you need more protein, you can add more cheese for fat. Um, so the next step, which is the hardest step for me, is choosing the dressing, because we keep so many dressings in our house. So if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I wouldn't even look at this half of the side because this is Matt's go-to. He doesn't really touch on the dressings as much as he does just the apple cider vinegar with the olive oil or the avocado oil. And to be honest again, I've tried both of these and they seem very similar in taste. If you're wondering what avocado oil tastes like, it doesn't taste anything like avocados. Um, so for me, these are the three big guns. So we have a Caesar, we have a French, and then we have blue cheese. Blue cheese, you know, it's obviously thicker. It'll add more fat than some of these other ones. But you know, if you need more fat, you just add a lot more dressing. So I personally am gonna go with the French vinaigrette. I usually go with this one. It's lighter, it tastes really good. I've never had it before I had it in this bottle. And this is a really good brand, I highly recommend it. So, you know, you can measure it out if you want, if you're counting. But I kinda just like dose the whole thing like that. There you have it. Never forget to salt pepper. And I'm off to eat dinner. It's that easy. Now go make a Cobb salad, get your micronutrients, get your macros, and subscribe and leave us a comment. What dressing did you use? Are you more of a mat or more of a mega? Bye.